the British Army £5.5 billion new Ajax fleets is meant to replace the British Army aging armoured combat vehicle fleet, but the leaked assessment says the new vehicle faces multiple issues, the Ministry of Defence maybe should eyes the CV-90 armoured combat vehicle, and maybe this armoured vehicle variant fleets can be built in United Kingdom and create more jobs. Combat Vehicle 90 or CV-90 represents a family of armoured combat vehicles developed by BAE Systems Land Systems Haglands of Ornsoldsvik and Saab Bofors Dynamics of Karlskoga, Sweden. It is also called Stridsfaden 90. Originally, the chassis of CV-90 was built by BAE Land Systems Haglands, while Saab Bofors supplied the turret. Currently, BAE Systems Haglands produces the entire vehicle. Self-protection and armor on Combat Vehicle 90, the all-welded steel hull can be upgraded with add-on armor, which protects against 30mm armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo rounds. The vehicle has a low radar, acoustic and infrared signature. A fire detection and extinguishing system is fitted, and full nuclear, biological and chemical protection is provided. The all-steel CV-90 combat vehicles are designed for high mobility and can be deployed in anti-aircraft and anti-tank movements. The CV-90 is available in an infantry fighting version, which carries a squad of seven troops, and a command vehicle version, BAE Systems said, both types have three men crews. The CV-90 family of vehicles give unrivaled performance in the 20-35 ton class and have been deployed by national forces. With more than 25 years experience in enhancing and developing the CV-90 family, BAE systems have maximized the availability and cost efficiency of these vehicles throughout their life cycle. The CV-90 platform is engineered to provide optimum mobility and agility. For ease of deployment it features a range of land and air transportation options. On the ground it delivers first-class performance even in the toughest terrains, providing your personnel with the tactical edge. Every battlefield has a unique set of demands. With a full range of armament options, the CV-90 can be developed or configured to match any situation, from patrol, command and control, logistics, support and to combat. Never compromise on survivability, this is the principle that leads the development of the CV-90. For this reason its survivability equipment is the most advanced of its kind, anywhere in the world. Its high payload capacity enables a wide range of kit to be carried, from robust bolt-on solutions to active add-ons. The CV-90 variant CV Mark IV, is fifth-generation combat-proven infantry fighting vehicle combines improved battlefield speeds and handling with an upgraded electronic architecture to support future growth capabilities. The CV-90 Mark IV represents the next step in the evolution of the CV-90 concept. Building on a proud legacy of best-in-class mobility and survivability spanning more than two decades, the CV-90 Mark IV brings unrivaled technological capabilities and flexibility to today's complex battlefield. With a new engine, the CV-90 Mark IV boasts up to 1,000 horsepower and the latest upgraded X300 heavy-duty transmission. The gross vehicle weight rating is increased from 35 tons to 37 tons, offering users 2 tons of extra payload without a decrease in vehicle agility. The Mark IV generation will also be the first Western infantry fighting vehicles with a qualified active protection system. The CV-90 Mark IV can be fitted with a two-man turret or an unmanned weapon station. 
The two-man power-operated turret is of all-welded steel construction, with the commander seated on the left and the gunner on the right, with both crew members having a single-piece hatch cover that opens to the rear. Turret traverse and weapon elevation are all electric with manual controls provided for emergency use. The vehicle is fitted with the D-Series modular turret which can be armed with different types of armament, automatic cannons up to 120mm smoothbore tank cannon. The second armament can include Spike LR or other anti-tank guided missile launchers and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. For the CV-90 Mark IV the coaxial machine gun is mounted to an independent pod located on the left side of the turret. This weapon pod can be armed 40mm automatic grenade launcher, 7.62mm machine gun or laser weapon. The CV-90 forward observation vehicle is equipped with an enhanced sighting system, incorporating a laser rangefinder for target detection and acquisition. The vehicle has improved communication and navigation systems. The right side of the turret is fitted with two anti-tank missile launchers stored under armor in road position and elevated from inside of the turret to perform fire operations. The storage box can be replaced to host unmanned aerial vehicle or other observation or reconnaissance devices. Eight smoke grenade discharges are mounted under armor on each side at the front of the turret. The new variant, the CV-90 Armadillo, offers additional protection and flexibility without a turret. The vehicle weighs 27 tons and has a payload capacity of 8 tons for armor and additional equipment. It can provide horizontal ballistic protection against mines of about 10 kilograms. The Armadillo variant also has an external fire suppression system and Saab LEDS 150 active protection system. The future developments of the CV-90 will include bridge layer and other variants with enhanced protection. By providing the capability for straightforward, low-cost switching between configurations, the CV-90 Armadillo is able to meet today's wide range of threats and rapidly changing operational environments. The new build standard incorporates a flexible, modular design, providing up to 80% commonality between variants. The Armadillo balances high mobility with extremely high protection. Its payload capacity is unique for vehicles in its same weight class. It is reliable and affordable and has a low logistics footprint. The variants include the following, infantry fighting vehicle, ambulance, mortar, armored personnel carrier, command and control, logistics, support and recovery.